A decentralized identifier, or DID, is a unique string that can be resolved into a DID document. This document typically contains public keys, service endpoints, and other metadata used to enable secure, verifiable interactions. But the way a DID is resolved depends on the method it uses. Of the many DID methods that currently exist, let's look at a few representative categories of how DID methods handle resolution. Some DID methods rely on existing internet infrastructure, such as the domain name system or DNS. A common example is DID web. In this approach, the DID string encodes a domain name and the DID document is retrieved over HTTPS from a well-known location on the web. This method is straightforward and leverages existing authentication mechanisms like TLS, but it depends on the continued availability and security of the domain's web server. Other methods anchor data to a specific blockchain or distributed ledger. These DIDs resolve by querying that ledger and reconstructing the DID document from a series of recorded operations. Examples include DIDs registered on purpose-built identity networks like Indy or on permissioned infrastructures such as those used in government-backed ecosystems. The resolution process involves retrieving cryptographically signed updates and proofs that attest to the integrity and history of the DID document. These methods offer strong tamper resistance, but often require network access and more processing to verify state changes over time. In contrast, DID key uses a self-contained model. The DID itself includes the public key material, allowing the entire DID document to be constructed locally without querying a remote server or ledger. This makes it ideal for offline use, ephemeral identities, or constrained environments, though it lacks support for key rotation, service discovery, or document updates. Did peer takes a peer-to-peer -peer approach. These dids are designed for private, pairwise interactions and are not globally resolvable. Instead, the did document is directly exchanged between parties during connection establishment. This method maximizes privacy and avoids reliance on global infrastructure, but it requires secure and trusted communication at the time of exchange. Some DID methods combine these strategies. For instance, others may publish a digest of the DID document to a public blockchain rather than storing the full document on-chain. This approach offers tamper evidence without bloating the ledger while enabling off-chain storage and resolution. Each DID method might have its own implementation of a DID resolver, but due to W3C standards, projects such as the Universal Resolver from DIFF can be used to produce common, standardized output through consuming different DID resolver drivers. Each of these DID resolution models reflects different priorities, whether it's decentralization, discoverability, privacy, performance, or compliance. Understanding how a DID resolves to its document is a foundational part of establishing trust in decentralized identity systems.